Perhaps no other day in recent history touched the soul of a nation and evoked the mystery of life and death as the day of September 11, 2001. For St. Paul's Chapel at Ground Zero, this day also marked the transformation of a historic sacred place into a vibrant faith community of caregivers. September the 11th is a day that has changed forever the history of this chapel and all of us who have been here working in it. It was a day on which our country was plunged headlong into terror and anxiety. For Lyndon Harris, Courtney Cowart, and Catherine Avery, the events surrounding September 11th and their involvement with the Ministry to Relief and Recovery Workers at Ground Zero forever changed their lives. Without God, I never could have gotten through this. Without the Holy Spirit, St. Paul's would not look like what it is today. I mean, it's, it has been one miracle after another. My life has been changed by this experience. I'll never be the same again, and that's something for which I'm grateful. I have been pushed to my limits. I have been stretched beyond anything I could have ever imagined. This has been an incredibly rich experience in terms of really integrating my faith at a, at a deeper level than, it, than I have ever integrated my faith in before. Seeking theological learning has been an important part of Lyndon's and Courtney's lives. Their doctoral studies at General Seminary have given them a deep appreciation for integrating faith and learning into one's life. Courtney Coward's near-death experience became a moment of spiritual transformation. When the second tower came down and we stood there and we watched that hundred-story high black debris cloud barrel toward us for myself. I know that um, there was a moment where I realized there was absolutely no place to run, no place to hide, um, that the only response was surrender. As I reflected on it more, human life is, is short. <laughs> it's brief, and you have no idea when you're going to go, so, so make the most of at the moment and expend it in ways that you won't regret if your life is taken from you. Faith can be a transforming experience that offers some sense of hope in the midst of suffering and death. The ministry of St. Paul's provides hope for all who believe in the promise of resurrection. This has shown me what a church should be. The presence of God to me truly is in the eyes of, of those that walk through the door. The presence of God is in the letters from the children all, from all over the world. The presence of God is, um, from all, is seen on our front gate with all of the pictures and letters and, and banners and angels and crosses. I think that literally thousands and thousands of people who have had this extraordinary experience down here have been very much changed by it. They've discovered that as human beings, we are more than they ever thought we were. That we have the capacity to give more generously, to trust each other more deeply, to reach out farther to other people than we ever, ever thought we could. The theology at St. Paul's Chapel has been theology of hope because that really is the heart of what has taken place at St. Paul's Chapel. It has been all about resurrection. It has been all about renewal and hope for the future. But hope does not deny any tragedy that we've lived through. Hope does not say these things didn't happen. Hope says that in spite of what has happened, God is at work even now to redeem even this.